I'd like to call the Monday, March 30th meeting of the Board of Selectmen to order. First, I'd like to announce that this meeting is being recorded and ask if there's anyone in the audience who is also recording the meeting. Seeing none, could we rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and we have no one who has signed up for public comment and we have an is it we have a 705 hearing scheduled so we're going to have to wait a couple minutes on that do we want to move up the gift acceptance right make a motion we move up gift acceptances Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? So voted. We have, in memory of John Orborn, to the Auburn Animal Shelter from Paul and Elaine Scavoni in the amount of $50. Is there a motion? Motion to accept. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Chris, that's all we have until 7.05. I don't know if we... Do you want us to recess? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there a motion to recess to 705? Motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. We're in recess to 705. We are back in order. Um, before we call the 705 hearing to order, I'd like to let the two applicants know, because we do have two hearings tonight. Um, the board generally is a makeup of five members. We have three members here tonight, which constitutes a quorum. In order for any vote to pass tonight, um, we would need all three votes. So I will um, open the hearing, and at that time, I'll ask you if you wish to move forward with the hearing, and if not, you're, you, you know, it's your right to hold the hearing until you have a full makeup of the board. With that said, we have a 705 hearing for the Town of Auburn, Auburn Public Schools, for a license to store 6,330 gallons of underground LP gas at 5 through 9 West Street in Auburn. Is there a motion to open the hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? So voted. Mr. Fahey, Dr. Brunel, you can come up to the table and join us. A little more comfortable for you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. So just tell us a little bit about what, well, why you're here tonight. I'm here tonight for the application for the propane underground tanks that will be installed for the new middle school. Uh, We've combined our tanks along with the fire department's tanks, reason being because it's all on the same property. The tanks are going to be located um, to the east of the building, which is outside of the uh, the uh, the chorus classroom, about 25 feet from the road. I'm sorry, 25 feet from the building, which is right next to the, the parking lot. So um, this, this will also be um, <clears throat> it will be fenced in. And there'll also be ballots put in per recommendation of the fire department. Okay. Um, do you have a map there? Is that what yes. you're looking at? Just if we can just take a look, because it's not included in our packet, just in case board members have any mm -hmm. questions, and then we'll make it part of the record. Mm -hmm. And while they're looking at that, I'll just read an email into the record. Hello, Sharon. I know the installation of the new propane tanks for the school department is on the agenda for tonight. The plan has been reviewed and the permit has been signed. We are all set on our end and have no issues. Thanks, Stephen M. Coleman, Jr., Chief of Department, Auburn Fire Rescue Department. So... So the fire department has signed off on this, as you see in the email, and I've just read that into the record. Are there any the questions? Mr. Thank Holstrom. You. Through the chair, um, I know with the new middle school going up, uh, there was some question some time before about having street gas. Is there natural gas in the street in Southbridge Street? There is nothing that comes down that far? No, there isn't. And, and that's one of the reasons why we opted to go to the propane tanks okay. uh, in case in the future. Uh, natural gas does become available, it will be a, more or less a, an easy changeover for that to happen. Okay, because I knew there was some discussion at one point before that the natural gas was possibly in Southbridge Street, and if we could get it over there, 
that might be a better way to do it than putting mm -hmm. in, you know, 6,300-gallon uh, LP tanks. But um, I don't have any problem with what you've got. It's just a matter of just ask that question about the natural gas versus the LP. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything else? Is there any public comment? Do you have anything else? I mean, it's no. basic, simple. No, thank you. Um, is there a motion to close the hearing? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed, so voted. Is there a motion regarding the application? I make a motion that we approve the license provided with all applicable requirements of the state and town and many of its departments, boards, and commissions have been fulfilled. Said license is subject to all the conditions stated upon it. Says so comply with any and all conditions, shall invalidate the license and render it null and void. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed so voted. Thanks so much. Thank you. Very I know much. it was a it was quick but a necessary process. So thank, thank you. you. Appreciate your support. Bye. Take care. Are we at seven ten, Mr. Hugo? Are we at seven <coughs> ten? Okay. We just have about thirty seconds till we can open your hearing. <coughs> Uh, through the chair, if I may, I just, if it's okay, I can just give you a little quick update on the grant that we submitted on Friday okay, for great. the Green Communities. Uh, we ended up putting in a grant in the amount of about $237,000, the maximum being two fifty, and it is for improvements, uh, for energy efficient improvements to Town Hall, the Marion Building, um, and we were looking at the police department as a whole. There were a lot of things that needed to be done. We we're funding one part of it because to do the entire thing, uh, Mr. Fay, he was a great help with us also, but to do the entire thing, we would have had to move down the list a couple of priority projects in town hall that were more cost efficient and energy saving. So we did get the grant application in. And uh, we are working today to finalize a grant due tomorrow under the Blackstone Heritage Corridor uh, Partnership Program Grant for $15,000 for the potential to develop the walking trails in the Pappas complex and connect them to the new uh, land that will be So if that took up 30 seconds, perfect. gave you a good chance to give you an update. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. So we have a 710 hearing for New England Automotive Repairs, LLC. An auto repair license at 71 School Street in Auburn. Is there a motion to open the hearing? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed, so voted. So if, excuse me. If you can go up to the microphone there, anyone who's going to speak, just give your name for the record, please. Okay. Good evening. And if you can just tell us a little bit about why you're here tonight and what your plans are. Okay. Sir, please. Uh, hi, uh, my name's Julio Cruz. Um, I'm here, uh, you know, applying for the, the license uh, 71 School Street. Um, I've been at uh, my current location uh, a little over 10 years, and um, been doing a lot of a lot of business with Auburn Town folks. And um, you know, it seems like a really good opportunity um, as far as location. And um, you know, just want to just uh, you know, kind of slim down from a uh, service station I'm at, um, I'm at now and focus more on automotive repairs uh, and just you know, pretty much uh, service the town of Auburn as much as I can. Okay. Thank so, you. so just for the record, um, because the application isn't in your name, are you the manager? Yes, um, I, I'm. Uh, I'm a manager at the, uh, the location and will be manager at the new location. Okay. Okay. Thank but you. we have the owner with you. This is the yes. owner. Okay. Hi, uh, my name is Gushran Daliwa. I'm the, I'm the owner. I, I bought the property from 71 School Street. Okay. And uh, yes, uh, I, I can fully describe it right. Like we are in a transition of moving our business into town of Auburn. Okay. And uh, we have been in that location since 2006. So now we are planning to, to have a garage business here in your town. And who's responsible for the day-to-day -day operation? Who's there uh, during the day, uh, every day? Who your crews will be there full time? Yes. Okay. And are you involved in the day-to-day -day operation, or are you just uh, the owner? I will basically like I will be more on the accounting and financial side. Okay. I will be supporting that. Okay. And so we have a report here from the DCG. Who met with the group, to the development coordination group, to see what you needed? That was uh, her and I. Okay, yeah. so you're familiar with the conditions that they yes. have recommended? Yeah. I'm just going to read them into the record. 
Thank you. So the applicant shall obtain all necessary permits and inspections from town departments, boards, or commissions. The applicant shall obtain all necessary approvals from state agencies. Any existing floor drains must be sealed or properly connected. Any future or proposed increases to the building <laughs> footprint or impervious surface will require a special permit from the Zoning Board of Appeals. Do you understand all those conditions? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, Do board members have questions? Mr. Holstrom. Through the chair, um, how many cars are you going to be able to hold in this facility? Are they going to be stored inside or stored outside? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, uh, for the most part, um, you know, most service work that I do um, is it, more of a quick turnaround. Um, so drop off, you know, pick up later in the evening. Um, you know, in, in few cases, um, you know, on certain jobs, you know, cars do carry over a day or two. Um, but other than that, it, it's, it's pretty much going to be a quick turnaround. Uh, we're not looking to, you know, stock cars there or nothing of the sort. Um, and yeah, just, uh, yeah, just. Okay, because as we have here in our packets, we don't have a plan of what your building actually is. I know what it is, but I, there's no plan in here. So I was kind of curious as to how many cars you were going to have in that, if you've got enough room to uh, service the cars and, you know, store the cars there until they're picked up so that they're not parking on the street. Yes, correct. I mean, at, at the current, uh, you know, situation, there's only one lift there, uh, you know, so I, I definitely not going to be one to kind of overbook myself and, you know, um, you know, in my mind, it, it doesn't work out that way with, with customer. Everybody needs things now uh, and right away, uh, which, you know, that's which what I'm trying to uh, focus on providing as far as a quick turnaround service. Um, yeah, and, uh, you know, in the future, we did want to maybe the, discuss, uh, you know, changes, maybe adding a, another bay, but, you know, through the, you know, the right manner, we, we'd address that in the future. Okay, and just as a follow-up, we uh, car's going to be towed in there? Or are they going to be driven in? How's that going to work? Because uh, what my feeling is that if you're going to have a, a tow truck come in, they're going to have to unload someplace where it's safe so it's not going to be causing a traffic problem, especially in that area of School Street. Yes, yeah. Um, at the current moment, there is a, a decent size uh, where, where, where the record could come in comfortably and, and drop off the vehicle. Uh, we do intend and want to, you know, pave a little more of section that's what's, you know, going on right now. Um, but yeah, in the future, we, we you know we do intend um, you know and paving a little more, um, so that therefore we can have a little more open a, a, of a parking lot and actually make a, a plan as far as a parking plan. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Are there any other questions? So. Um, I, I'm not seeing it on the application, but there wasn't a spot for it. What are your proposed hours of operation? That will be uh, from eight o'clock to five o'clock. All, all weekdays, and on uh, Saturdays, it's uh, 8 to five, uh, eight to 12, sorry. Okay, and closed on Sunday? Closed on Sunday, yes. Okay, because generally we like to include the hours of operation in the license application. Okay. And, the, and approved, <coughs> if it's so approved. So you're, you're looking to, for hours of operation from 8 to 5, Monday through Friday, 8 to 12 on Sunday, and closed on, I'm, I'm sorry, 8 to 12 on Saturday, and closed on Sunday? That's correct. Okay. So this hearing has been advertised. You'll see that in our packet. It was advertised in the telegram. Are there any about us or interested parties? Seeing none, there's no comment. Is there anything else you want to add before we close the hearing? Um, I, I, I guess just to add on to before, uh, if you don't mind, uh, you know, our main target is the inspection, uh, you know, so therefore, we, you know, we'd want that quick, you know, uh, in and out and, you know, henceforth uh, the paving of the lot to, you know, accommodate everything properly. Uh, but other than that, no, I mean, uh, yeah, just uh, the inspe inspections are our main target and, uh, you know, general repairs. Yeah. Okay. And are you doing, currently doing inspections? At our, my location, yes. We so have a, so the state will machine. have to come in and inspect this new location yes, before yeah, you're approved for that? Yes, uh, I spoke to the registry officers. Uh, they've assessed this, uh, the site and everything, and uh, just, just pending on this stuff here, and then we can finally get that process going. I have nothing more. Okay. I just want to follow up on Mr. Holstrom's comment regarding tow trucks being brought in just I know you said that you're looking to expand but if you can just kind of assure us that you'll leave that area excuse me that area open so that 
Yes. You know, yes, for I sure. Mean, like that will just be, for a safety issue. That will be our top priority. Like once once the weather permits, like we will have the paving done. Okay. Yeah, we have no current tolls situation ourselves, so it'd just be you know if the customer you know triple A's it and okay you know, it, for the most part, yeah. Okay. Is there a motion to close the hearing? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Um, is there a motion regarding the application? I would make a motion that we approve the license, provided that all applicable requirements of the state and town and all its departments, board, and have been fulfilled. Said license is subject to all the conditions of the product. First, comply with any and all the conditions found kind of valid with the license and render it null and void, and with the conditions of the DCG to be placed on the license. Second. Uh, Ms. We want hours as well, right? Yes, so I would. I would appreciate sorry. that. The hours of operation would be Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Closed Sundays. I just put a general prohibition. I'd say uh, no parking on the streets. So, so they've included the condition of no parking on the street. Correct. Right. Okay. And there was a second on that? There was. Is there any additional discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? It's unanimous. So congratulations. And if Thank you, you make any changes to your license, you will need to come, bef you know, come before this board. And as stated in DCG, if you pave any of the impervious zone, you need to go to Zoning Board of Appeals. So it, basically, if you make any changes, it's best to just check with Town Hall to see, if, um, to see what next step you need to take. Thank you very much. All good Thank luck. You. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any anything further? To adjourn. Did uh, did you have anything? Do not. Okay. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Any opposed? We are adjourned. Thank you. Good night.